Hey guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com, and today we're going to talk about how to keep your butt down when you're benching. So keeping your butt properly planted on the bench press comes down to a few things. One, we're ultimately going to want to push in the backwards direction, not down into the floor. Many lifters end up with this type of issue because they push into the floor and in turn pretty much create a glute bridge type effect where they push into the floor with their feet, their hips want to lift. To counteract that, right, we want to push straight back on the bench. So we want to actually slide our bodies back. So as opposed to doing this and wanting to bridge into the floor, we want to stress pushing back on the bench, that gliding motion. All right, that's gonna help us keep our butt down. Another thing that's gonna help us here is making sure we're driving our knees out. If we put the focus on driving knees out and trying to opening up our hips, right, we are going to find we're gonna be a lot less likely to end up bridging through the floor and creating that glute bridge. And we are going to be much more effective at locking our hips into place on the pad and pushing in the backwards direction. So when you have the weight out, really focus on driving knees out and feeling that hip tension that you're creating. When you focus on driving your knees out and opening up your hips as opposed to just simply pushing back, right, we are going to be a lot more effective in locking our hips into place and creating drive backwards. All right, if I do not think about knees out, right, a lot more likely that I end up just trying to reach for the bar. And I try to drive my hips up, even if I don't mean to. If you're still struggling with keeping your hips touching the pad, you're gonna ultimately want to try to get your knees below your hip joint. Because if you can put yourself in that type of position, just passively, you're gonna be able to prevent yourself from glute bridging up. If your knee joint is below your hips, you aren't really going to be able to bridge up any more than you are currently in position. So by doing that, you automatically fix yourself into a position in which you're not gonna be able to let your butt leave the pad. Many lifters utilize a feet or toes back style of bench press for this fact exactly because it keeps the knee lower than the hip and will allow that person to lock themselves into a position where your butt is going to be in contact with the bench the whole time. From a feet out flat type perspective, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you widen your base enough so that you can get that knee dipped below the hip joint. So for example, someone who is taller, they're going to be able to touch the floor with a lot less effort. They are going to have their knees propped up more. So if they can widen out their stance that is gonna help drop the knees a bit. All right, if the knees are situated below the hips, you're not gonna have much room to be able to actually drive up, as opposed to if you're rather flat and, or you're rather close with your foot and your knees end up above your hips, very easy for you to end up just driving up like this. Okay, so a lot of lifters, again, utilize toes back for this point exactly, tucks their knees under their hips so they can't really lift up as much. They're pretty much locked into that place. Or if your feet flat, like I mentioned, you can get really wide with your foot position. Try to tuck your feet back. That way your knees end up lower to your hips and then you will be able to more effectively hold position. Now you do not necessarily have to get your knee below your hip. However, that's gonna make it a lot easier to hold position. The other key that you're going to want to keep in mind is holding yourself accountable in training. And this is something that I've often uh, neglected in my training at periods, is you have to make sure that constantly holding yourself to a standard in training of keeping your hips down on the pad. If you start to get away with lifting the hips a little bit, even if it's brief, if you allow yourself to train like that, you're gonna have issues constantly in your training and at a meet. All right, definitely don't want that problem at a meet. So hold yourself to a standard when you train and make sure that you're planting your butt on all your heavy attempts. The more you let it skate by, the worse it's gonna become. So there you have it guys, reasons and why your butt is coming up and what you can do to go about fixing it. 
Coach Ben here. And you know where to find me. You can meet me. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about how to increase your bench press, consider joining us in our Better Benching Academy. To learn more, simply click the link down below in the description box or visit bigbenches.com BB Academy. I'll see you there.